Hi guys and welcome to this video. Kleena here and today I'm going to be taking you through the solution to question 10 from this junior cert higher level paper. So let's get started. So in this question we are told that Ali and John took part in a triathlon. So they had to complete 5 kilometers of a kayak, 25 kilometer cycle and a 10 kilometer run. So we're given a diagram, okay, which was drawn after both of them had finished the race. And the diagram shows how many minutes more than John or less than John it took Ali to travel D kilometers in the triathlon. So the graph is a bit confusing, so you do need to take a minute to look at it and really understand what it's representing. So it just gives us an example. The point A shows that it took Ali one minute more than John to travel the first 10 kilometers. And in total, it took Ali one minute less than John to finish the triathlon. So Ali beat John by one minute. So if we just look at the graph here, we can see that the kayak was five kilometers. So after five kilometers, we can see that it took Ali two minutes more than John. And then after the cycle, so after 30 kilometers, so the first 30 kilometers, it took Ali one minute less than John. And for the whole race, so for the whole 40 kilometers, you can see here we are. So it took Ali one minute less than John to complete the whole triathlon. So now let's look at the questions based on the graph. So question A asks us, did Ali finish the kayak section ahead of John? behind John or at the same time as John. So we're talking about the kayak section here. We just went through that after the first five kilometers, which was the kayak section. So after the kayak was done, it took Ali two minutes more than John to complete the kayak section. So if it took him two minutes more, he was two minutes behind John. So he was behind John. So I'm going to tick the box here that says behind John. Now let's move on to question B. So question B tells us that Ali had to stop briefly during the triathlon. John did not stop. State what distance Ali had traveled when he stopped and for how long he was stopped. So again, let's go up and let's look at the graph. So when you're looking at graphs and you're told that something or someone has stopped, what you want to look for is a straight line. So you can see the straight line here and that happens at 25 kilometers. So when Ali has done 25 kilometers, it took him two minutes less than John. But then he's still just traveled 25 kilometers. But all of a sudden it's taken him only half a minute okay, or 30 seconds less than John. So he's traveled 25 kilometers and he stopped for one and a half minutes because he was two minutes ahead of John. And then all of a sudden he's only 30 seconds ahead of John. So 25 kilometers and one and a half minutes. And for section A and section B, for getting the correct answer to both of these sections, you're gonna get a total of 10 marks. So now let's go on to section C. So in question C, we're asked what was happening John and Ali at the point marked B on the diagram. So let's have a look at the graph. So in this point B here, we can see that before the point B, it's taken Ali more time than John to complete, say, the 15 kilometers. But at the point B, it has taken them the exact same time to complete 15 kilometers. And then after the point B, we can see that it's taking Ali less time than John to complete, say, 16 kilometers. So at B, John and Ali are drawing, but you could also say that Ali is overtaking John. So I'm gonna write them both down. So I'll say John and Ali are drawing, and I'll say Ali is overtaking John. And again, for this question, you're gonna get a total of 10 marks. So let's go on to D where, where we're dealing with a table. So we're told that the table below shows the times that it took John to complete each of the three sections. So the kayak, the cycle and the run, as well as his total time. So using the diagram, we're asked to fill in the four missing times for Ali. So the first thing is the kayak. So it took John 32 minutes to complete the kayak. Now we'll remember that Ali to complete the kayak, it took him two minutes more than John. So if it took John, was it 32 minutes? It took Ali 34 minutes. So now let's go on to the cycle. So it took John 38 minutes. So at the start of the cycling section, Ali is two minutes behind John. And at the end of the cycling section, you can see that he's one minute in front of John. So altogether, it's taken Ali three minutes less than John to complete the cycling section because he's essentially caught up with John and he's ended up one minute ahead of him. So the difference between here and here is three minutes. 
So it takes him three minutes less than John to complete the cycling section. So if it took John 38 minutes to cycle it, it only took Ali 35 minutes. Now let's look at the run. So at the start of the run, Ali is one minute ahead of John. Okay, so it takes him one minute less than John to complete the first 30 kilometers just before the run. And then at the end, he's still one minute ahead of John. So that means that it took them the same time to complete the run. So if it took John 36 minutes, it also took Ali 36 minutes. And finally, the total time. So John's total time was 106 minutes. And at the end of the triathlon, after the 40 kilometers, we can see that it took Ali one minute less than John. So if it took John 106 minutes, that means that it took Ali 105 minutes. So that's your table completed. And for that question, you're going to get 20 marks. So now the final question, question E, we're dealing with distance, speed and time. So we're told that John and Ali also ran a 400 meter race. John's average speed for the 400 meters was 7.8 meters per second. It took Ali two seconds more than John to run the 400 meters. We're asked to work out Ali's average speed for the 400 meter race. So I'm going to write out the information that we have. So I'm going to put John here and I'm going to put Ali here. So distance, speed and time for both. And let's write in what we know. So they're both doing a 400 meter race. John's average speed was 7.8 meters per second. So his speed was 7.8 meters per second. It took Ali two seconds more than John to run the 400 meter race. So if John's time was X, Ali's time was X plus two. So we're asked to work out Ali's average speed for the 400 meter race. So this here is what we're looking for, but we can't find that straight away. What we're going to do is we're going to find this X because we have the distance and speed for John. We need to find the time. And then we're going to use that X here to find the time for Ali. And then we can find the speed. Okay, so that may sound confusing, but I'm going to take you through it step by step now. So I'm going to use my distance speed time triangle for John first. So the distance speed time triangle is like so. And when you're looking for something, you cover it. So here we're looking for time. So if you put your finger over the time here, you're left with D over S. So distance divided by speed will give us time. So 400 divided by 7.8 will give us the time. So I'm going to put that into my calculator. So that's 51.3 seconds. So if it took John 51.3 seconds, it took Ali 50. 3.3 .3 seconds. So now we have Ali's distance and we have his time. So using the DST triangle, now we're going to cover speed because we're looking for speed. So that's distance divided by time. So it's 400 divided by 53.3. And this will give us Ali's speed. So his speed is 7.5 meters per second. So that's Ali's speed. So this is our final answer here. And for this question, you're going to get five marks. Okay, guys, so that's all for this question. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it cleared up anything that you might have been confused about. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.